All right, guys, check it out. We got a fresh pallet of solar panels dropped off from Signature Solar. All right, guys, so I got one removed from the bunch here for us to play with. And these are manufactured by Sirius and they are assembled here in the USA, actually here in Texas where I'm at. So let's take a look at the specs. They are 415 watt bifacials. The open circuit voltage is 41.32 volts. Short circuit current is 13.76. The voltage at P max is 34.29. Current at P max is 13.13 amps. The maximum series fuse rating is 25 amps and the cell technology is mono-si and obviously as i said they're bifacial so this is the back side it does feel like this is glass rather than the plastic sheet i'm not exactly sure but it kind of it's more shiny than the plastic sheet usually looks like and then the the front side uh, so all black frame i like that looks much better all right so let's go ahead and put one of these out in the sun and see what we can produce so i got this panel out in the sun and uh it's looking pretty clear up there uh there might be a thin layer of haze from my perspective it it looks a little light blue instead of real deep blue that we usually get whenever it's super clear but uh I've got it plugged into my Victron 130 and then this is going to a 12 volt box. So let's take a look here. Alright, so there we go. We're getting 352 watts. About 13 amps worth of current coming from the panel. 27 volts. I did spritz it with water a little bit earlier because it had been sun soaked. Let's go ahead and hit it again. See if we can cool it down a little bit more. Ah, oh, there we go, we got 358, 359. I think I'll let it set for a little bit. Uh, the sun, Is a little bit off this way so uh, we'll see if it uh, if we can wait till it gets you know straight on and then I'll take a look okay yeah so we got a little bit more 362 I just saw 363 just a second ago let's cool it down some more Oh, here we go. 369. Yeah, I think 369 was the tops. We're going to get into today's conditions with this guy. There we are. We've only gone down to 364. So, I think now what I want to do is I've got 10 of these. So, I'm going to find something to do with most of them and I've got an idea so I need to check to see if it's gonna work all right guys so here's the idea I've already done it um, I put six of the panels right here and they are operating currently I think I'm going to put the other four here but I need to take these panels off and put some longer rails I've got some longer ones. I had some panels up here prior and I'll show you those. So what I had up there before were these. These are 315 watt REC. Technically they're not that old, but they are an old model. They, I kind of bought them as like a new old stock kind of thing. And they're just polycrystalline. Uh, older technology and I had been wanting to replace these so these 
new panels came in at the right time. Uh, but the newer ones do definitely seem to be better. I was hoping to collect uh, a bunch of data, but it hasn't been super sunny. I mean, it's kind of sunny right now, but it's been super cloudy and rainy. So I haven't been able to collect much data on the new panels. Uh, but I got a screenshot here of the old panels installed and what they were producing. And uh, these were like consecutive really sunny days. Looks like we were getting 6.8 to 6.95 kilowatt hours a day in production. And we were producing about 1,543. Uh, there's a 1,659 right there watts max at any given time. And then here's a screen cap of the new panels. Like I said, I haven't had super great days, but here's a capture of one day that was really good. And we got 9.11 kilowatt hours for that day. And uh, 2,130 watts at the max. So yeah, I'm real happy with that, it's much better. Yeah, so now I think I'm going to go ahead and strip these guys off and get those other four panels on. All right, guys. So I didn't really notice this until I was editing. The day prior to the, pro the best production day that I had on the new panels, we didn't have as much production during that day, but we hit 2,347 watts. Uh, for all six panels. Uh, so if we do the math, two, three, four, seven divided by six, we get 391 watts. So that would be our new record <laughs> earlier in the video. Uh, I think we hit, what was it, 369 when we were initially testing? Well, okay, I was just going through my real-time data. I connected into my Victron, and I do see a day here where we got 2,450 watts. So 2,450 watts divided by six gives us 408.33 watts per panel. So, wow, we are really close to that 215-watt limit. So, very nice. All right, guys, back to it. So, I got those panels removed, the three that was on here. There's my new longer rail. So, the original ones, I think, are 14 foot. And these ones that I'm going to put on are 17. So, also, I think I'm going to have to put an extra little footing here no big deal also one thing that this longer one will allow me to do is I think I'll be able to put a gap in between each panel so I can put maybe eight inches between each panel so that might give us a little bit of sunshine going through to hit the back side of these bifacials so that might be interesting the other thing that I was kind of thinking, I would like to tilt this a little bit. Not, not so much that I'm trying to really angle it towards the sun, but I would like to allow it to drain better because, you know, I've done these completely flat and I get this buildup of dirt on them because there's no angle for them to get washed off. So I may try something like that. Let me see what I can come up with. All right, guys, there you go. They are installed. Now, a little bit of a change of plan. Obviously, I think you can tell there's no gaps in between. Like I had mentioned earlier that I was thinking about. And, well, the reason is uh, because it would take four of these end clamps per panel. And I don't have these in 35 millimeter or enough of these in 35 millimeter which is the width of these panels i have a bunch of you know 40s and 
46. Uh, so I'll have to order some more of these. So maybe in a later video, we might try that after I get some more of these in clamps. Also, I did get a slight tilt, uh, not very much at all. There is some there is some adjustability in these so i adjusted the front side all the way down and the back side all the way up so it has a slight tilt angle but uh in all reality probably not even enough to make much difference i couldn't really figure out a way to reliably put some kind of linkage in between you know i need something that's going to be strong so i'll have to think about that Anyway, so they're all linked together in series. So these are four in series. This will be a different system than these. Those are on a system that goes into my garage. And these will go into my crypto mining shed. So I don't have them wired up to go to the shed yet. Uh, and it's kind of pointless today because we're in another super cloudy day. There's no sun. So we're not going to be really able to gather a whole lot of data anyway. So that means that maybe I'll do another video where I'm testing this array. And we can potentially test it against this array. These are four 445 watt, I think, sun power panels. And they're older. I bought them used. Uh, so I wouldn't expect these to put out uh, like they're new. But we can compare the two and see what the difference is all right guys so i think that's gonna wrap up this video i've actually been shooting this video for quite some time so <laughs> i'm ready to wrap it up as always let me know what you think about these panels i'll leave links in the description and i'll catch you on the next one